Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I want to show you how you can calculate and set the audio uh, off sync inside OBS Studio. Now, I'll be using a clapperboard because I just like the clapperboard better and I already have it. I use this a lot. All right, but you don't have to use a clapperboard. You can just use your hands. Now, what we'll be doing in the video is seeing when the audio spike to where actually the hands actually clap or clapperboard. Like I said, I prefer the clapperboard and you'll see why we'll get DaVinci Resolve. Now, I am also using DaVinci Resolve. Uh, even though you can do this in any program, it's just so we can zoom in and count the frames from the time you hear the audio to the time that actually visually see the clapperboard close. Like I said, you can use your hands if you want to. I just like the clapperboard. And besides, it says eat at Joe's. And it's cool, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so anyway, let's first hop over here into OBS Studio. Okay, once we're in OBS Studio here, we want to find our microphone. Like I said, I'm using the Scarlett 2 2 mic. As you can see, it's audio peaking right here inside OBS Studio. Right click on it and go to Advanced Audio Properties. Now, now once you decide Advanced uh, uh, Audio Properties, you see here it says Sync Offset. And this is where we actually put in the information. If you have anything in here at the moment, put it back to zero. Once you get it, put back to zero, hit close. Click over here and record you a little clip. Now, I recorded my clips in at 60 frames, uh, yeah, 60 frames per second. However, I'll show you how you can uh, calculate it also if you're recording 30 frames per second. I think most folks are doing 60, those most popular. So that's what I'm gonna actually show you. All right. Once you got that little about 10 you know, second clip or whatever recorded, we want to open it inside, uh, like I said, oh, uh, DaVinci Resolve. Now, like I said, you don't have to use DaVinci Resolve. You can use Premiere Pro, Final Cut, and there's plenty of more other video uh, editing software out here. Like I said, I just mentioned re, uh, Final Cut, not Final Cut, but DaVinci Resolve, because that's what I use, and you can download it for free. And free is always good. All right, so open up uh, DaVinci Resolve, and we want to zoom in really close in on our clip here. And like I said, I zoomed in really, really, uh, about as far as you can zoom in right here. All right, wonderful. And you can see me here in the picture holding the clapperboard, and you'll see why I prefer the clapperboard more. Now we can move the little timeline over here, dragging the mouse, but in DaVinci Resolve also you can use your keyboards. Now we see as we move it over, this audio spike right here is where the clapperboard sound, you hear it. And then you see the clapperboard top finally make a connection right there in the video. All right. So we want to count how many frames it takes to go from right before this audio spike to the time the video actually sees the clapboard close. All right. Now you want to start counting before the audio spike. And this is the reason we're doing this is because it's natural for us to see something before we actually hear it. That's the way the human mind is uh, developed over years because the way sound moves slower than light, obviously. So it's natural if you, if you start before, it might seem a little unnatural watching the, the audio or, you know, people talk if the audio seems to come out just a little before. It's more forgiving if the audio comes out later because that's what our brain expects. All right, so anyway, let's start counting the frame right before the audio spike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it took eight frames to go from right before the audio spike to the time we actually see the clapperboard close. All right, wonderful. And then we want to open up calculator. All right, so if you're doing say 30 frames per second, you'll uh, there's 1,000 milliseconds in a second. Okay, milliseconds, hint, okay. <laughs> Divide that by 30. And we get 33.33 milliseconds. What you want to do is you want to count your frames and hit times whatever that number is to get your uh, frames that you wanted for your time. All right. We're not using 30 frames a second. This video footage is using 60. So get in 1,000 divided by 60 equals 16.6667.7. Okay. <laughs> Just simply say, remember we counted uh, eight frames a second, uh, eight frames all go, say times eight, and we get 133.33 uh, milliseconds. And that's the milliseconds that we'll use. So let's go ahead and uh, so get that. Let's go back over here to OBS Studio, open up Advanced Audio Properties again, 
and you simply just find your microphone and put in 133 milliseconds. Make sure to delete the zero out. We don't want 1330 milliseconds. That's over a second long. But we want 133 milliseconds. Now, why do you want to do this? Well, when your OBS is recording the video and the soft uh, the audio, uh, depending on how your audio processing goes or actually how long the video takes to get rendered out, there is and always will be some kind of offset. And this is the best way. It might be as little as 10 milliseconds or it might be as long as 500 milliseconds. So this is a great way to calculate the, the gap in between and make sure when you record your video and stuff in OBS Studio that everything synced up properly. That way when you're streaming whatever, your uh, viewers are not complaining, your lips are moving uh, before they hear the audio or the audio is coming out before your lips move. This always makes sure this gets synced up correct. So once you got that done, just hit close and you're good to go. Hey Shampoo Burning Studio 21 is a versatile software to burn CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs. Easily create movie discs with animated menus, live shows, and audio discs. The built-in cover designer produces covers and inlays for all disc types. Burning Studio 21 features an exciting new carousel navigation menu system. Enjoy the new program menu navigation with the ability to select your favorite modules for instant access. Plus new tailor-made profiles for car radios, CD changers, and mobile storage media. Learn more and download your free trial by clicking the link in the description below. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do like this video, found it helpful, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up so it's highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free, it's for you, and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.